Alright, it's Ampillion again, and I'm back with more of this Dwarf uh, What? Uh, no, it's not Dwarf Fortress. Uh, oh, yeah, duh. We got a little bit of Dwarf Fortress on the brain. Uh, I've got a few videos I need to edit and stick up. But this is not that. This is the Minecraft thing again. Uh, I was just coming back in to show off the little hanging house that I was working on, and I actually kind of mostly finished it up at this point. Um, there's gonna be some furniture and stuff inside of it once, well, once multiplayer actually supports that kind of thing. There doesn't seem to be any sheep, so I can't, you know, actually put pictures up, or I can put a few bookcases, but I'm kind of waiting to see if there's anything new decorative-wise in the patch. And, and then I might wait and kind of make some more decorative blocks and such, too. Use some of those in maybe this room here. I had all those furnaces facing the correct direction at one time, so you could actually kind of see if things were cooking in there from a distance. But, uh, again, some kind of multi... I don't know if it happens in the single player. But the, in the multiplayer, it, the blocks seem, seem to want to turn a lot. Especially with stairs. If you put something near stairs, they'll just like, Oh, hey, you're going to face this way now. I mean, you, you know, obviously had them facing the right way in the first place. Uh, so on top of this hill, there's going to be a bit of a forest. I'll probably put some other plants and stuff up here once I get this entire area completed. But it's a cool little, like, valley, and there's a nice big dip down the, beneath the base. Uh, and I decided, I was like, well, you know what, this is pretty cool here, but let's check out the other areas. And I started, uh, the, there's a area where I am digging, or mining, there's a rather large cave system off just to the, um, one of those cardinal directions, I want to say east, or not, not east, it would be north of here, I think, um, the, there's a big cave that I've been working in, and I was like, well, you know what, let's try heading up this way a little bit, and I noticed that there's even larger, like, sections of the cliff walls that are missing, like this one. Well, this one here, particularly, I, I originally picked it out because it had, like, a nice, like, dome over the top of two or three of the little points. And I come over this way, and, you know, I've seen a few of these before in Minecraft and all, and I've always kind of been interested in making either bases in or uh, on top of these large cliff faces like this. And I thought, I was looking over this way, I was like, hey, this would be pretty cool to, like, you know, dig sort of one of those... Um, you know, I don't remember the particular name of the Indians, but I, I stop here, and I'm like, wait. I was just kind of showing off at this point, and I'm like, hey, wait. This damn block is just floating in there. So I had to take care of that. Um, but there, those, there's a particular tribe of Indians, I want to say the, the Southwest, that, uh, you know, carved their houses into the sides of the cliff faces like that, and they have them all you know, dug into the wall. And there, this would be like an awesome area to kind of do that kind of thing, because there's just so many cliff faces here. And I'm just kind of walking along, and I notice that there is another large hole section here in the wall. I'm like, hey, that's kind of cool. Also, I apologize if there's any stuttering in the video, because it's, um, it, when you're on multiplayer, and you're ginning new areas, uh, it seems to lag up the computer, or the lag up the server a bit, so you get kind of these hiccups. But yeah, there's this big, huge pit here, too. I'm like, wow, this is some pretty cool, like, construction area ideas going on in my head whenever I see these kinds of things. And I was gonna, the, also, there's another little bug in multiplayer. There's, like, always these little black bricks that just don't get any light texture at all for some reason. I, I don't know what that all the, that's about. And here is another one of the wonderful multiplayer bugs that show up occasionally. And this one's actually kind of interesting, because it lets you see things that you're normally not allowed to see. So I come over here and... What, the, what, come, come on. There, there we go. Yeah, so the tiles apparently haven't like spawned textures or something up here on this top part. So you can actually see straight down into the earth, and you can see all the caverns all the magma, all that sort of stuff, light, lighting up the, uh, you know, underground, it 
because there's no good texture there. I and I don't. But again, it causes a lot of like issues on the server whenever you kind of moving through that stuff. So, but yeah, kind of showing off things. I'm like, it, it's the, but awesome. It's kind of lighting up in the dark. Up. Oh hey, and one of the most r rarest of minerals or, or substances in the game, clay. Yes, not diamond. Screw diamond. You can find diamond easy. Clay, on the other hand, oh. and it's not because you know clay is you know real you know useful or anything. But I mean, if you want to make projects, I'm like, yeah, I know there's more clay there. It's just the texture hasn't spawned for it. But uh, the if you want to make things out of you know brick, you need a lot of clay. And right now, the worlds just usually don't spawn enough of it, so it's hard to make any mega projects without you know cheating that stuff in. And I don't want to cheat things in, that's not fun. Well, the moon's coming up, and well, it might be a little bit not so fun to make a video with this going on. So, until next time, have a good one.